Good morning, guys. I got a really cool day today. I'm actually gonna learn how to ride a motorcycle and get my motorcycles license uh, over this weekend. And all shout outs to Harley Davidson because they're the ones that hooked it up. So I'm out here super early before the store even opens. It's like 6.57. And the problem with that is I think I gotta take a dump. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I did get breakfast, I got McDonald's, got some coffee. I've been sick all week, as you guys know, so I'm not used to waking up early. So this morning was really tough. I was so tired of getting out of bed, so I'm like, I gotta get coffee. But I'm scared to drink it, because I gotta take a poop. If I gotta take a poop, and I gotta drink coffee, isn't that even worse? You know, it's just gonna make it all come out. Oh, but also, Harley got me helmets and, and gloves and stuff, so this is really cool. My brother is actually the one that got this opportunity together. I don't even know what happened, but they hit her up instead of hitting up the manly man. And then they're like, hey, you guys want to ride motorcycles? So um, I shared this opportunity with Joe. So Joe's going to do it because he's always wanted to get a motorcycles license. This is going to be pretty cool. I think the first half of the class is, is lecture. Like you got to learn all the rules and stuff. And then we ride uh, in the afternoon. I've ghetto ridden before, like my friends taught me long time ago, back when I was in college, so that's over 10 years ago. So hopefully I pick that all up. And I hopefully I don't shit myself. Damn, look at all these bikes, dude. You got flat gray, shiny black. Ooh, damn, this is gonna make me wanna get one. You guys know me and toys, dude. I love toys, I like dope shit. But realistically, got a kid now, barely have time to shoot my guns. But still, I could get groceries in one of these guys. Huh, I could see myself picking up some eggs and milk. Where would I put it? I don't know, but it looks tight. I'm with Joe now, on our lunch break. And uh, grabbing some Mexican food real quick. I think I'm gonna get this dish. It's called the uh, costillas de puerco. I think it's just like short ribs or something, but it looks pretty good. With the motorcycle class, so far, everything I've learned, it's logically telling the whole world to never ride a bike. Did you, <laughs> did you know it's 3,800% more dangerous to ride a bike compared to a car? That's one. Number two, you have to check your bike's maintenance every single week, like every 500 miles. So if you ride it every day, that's like every week. And then uh, the other thing, she was showing us some manual things downstairs, like how to use the clutch and stuff. And she's like, oh yeah, you know, it's really finicky. Sometimes what gear you're in doesn't show up. You don't know if you're in neutral or not. Everything is by feel. There's that. The other thing is, uh, oh yeah, you know, when you fall, it's just literally you on the floor. There's no protection. So it's just you and the elements. You ever have like a long road trip and you see all those bugs on the windshield? Just copy and paste that and put that on your face. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Who the fuck would want to ride a bike? But then you see a bike and then you're like, damn, that shit's tight and all of that goes out the window kind of reminds me of you see that hot girl at the club right you know all the bad signs you know she's gonna be a gold digger she's gonna cheat on you she's gonna do all these things but she's so hot and you see the underwear popping out the bottom of the skirt and you can't control yourself i think that's what a motorcycle is and this looks good dude looks like looks like a home cooked meal or something wow what did you get I got chorizo, beans, and rice, and they're gonna give me tortilla. Hell yeah, I'm so excited now, because now it's real, look at this. I see all the bikes being lined up, and we get to learn on a Harley. That's sick, we're gonna learn on this big old parking lot. Hopefully, I don't drop the bikes, I'll feel so bad, but all these bikes, are, are meant to be like beginner style and smooth and lower so hopefully I can learn um, but like the thing that is scaring me is like the clutch and stuff Cause it's like driving stick but on a two-wheeled machine so we'll see how that goes our motorcycles are on now and we're just learning how to walk the bike 
while uh, barely in first gear, so slowly kick it in. We got Joe over there, hell yeah. And this, even just this, letting the clutch catch first gear and he's slowly going over there, even that's really, really fun. I can't wait to go in first gear, second gear, third gear. And my feeling of wanting to get a bike is coming back strong. So we gotta wait for that class uh, to make it back on this side before we can go on that side. And they're almost over, so I gotta jump back into class. On a break that was so fun so far so so far we learned how to um, ride with our legs up and it's cool because uh, we start with baby steps first we call it like a, is this stall walk I don't know what it's called but like you pretty much have it in just the clutch and first gear and you slowly move and once you get comfortable slowly you bring your legs up so it's baby steps <coughs> so it's not uh, that daunting because I remember when I learned back in there I learned it illegally on my friend's bike and they ghetto taught me when they ghetto taught me I wasn't really doing it correctly so as soon as I would put it in first and it just starts taking off I get all scared but we do it uh, nice and slow so it was really really fun and then once I started adding speed it felt even smoother and now I can't wait to shift gears or when they put the cones out and I have to like maneuver like figure eights through them that's gonna be awesome um, I don't know if we're doing that today but I'm, I'm glad that um, I'm kind of like half a step or one step ahead of the class because every time, because the teachers would teach two things and we would do the first thing and then as soon as I get the first thing I would try to implement it sneakily the second thing like adding gas even though we're not really supposed to just yet but I like picking things up and kind of like absorbing as fast as I could and it's really really fun. Thanks Harley Davidson for bringing us out because this is super fun. That's so cool. Manual pump. Gasoline. Look at that golden fluid. This part's super fun right now. Because we're learning how to upshift and downshift from first gear to second gear and third gear. And you can see everybody practicing. And we have to be able to uh, go from first gear to second gear and come to a full stop at that instructor at the end. Watch, check this out. So the instructor is the guy with the yellow shirt on. He's giving the students some notes. And then uh, you could just see, just based off his eyes, you can see what we need to practice on. And uh, my, my cheeks sound weird because it's smashed inside the helmet. But watch, check this guy. This guy in front of me is pretty good. He's been nailing it this whole time. And then afterwards, he goes, so that's Joe right there. He comes all the way back, make a little U-turn, figure eight, and you get back into the end of the line. But watch, watch this guy. So he's going, going, going. He has to shift up once, and then he has to come to a stop over there. Busy day dude just got home finished with the uh, first day of the riding course now i gotta get dressed up um for a wedding mom is super nice and i asked her if she has time it's really hard to watch uh to have time when you're watching taika but i was like if you have time can you please press my white shirt the one that i bought yesterday and she pressed it for me but then she also texted me that it's freaking hot and since um the place that we're going to isn't that dressed up. She's like, you could actually honestly just wear short sleeve. So I'm like, oh, perfect. Cause I don't want to be sweating in a suit. So this is what I'm gonna wear. I got my short sleeve like dress shirt. I'll wear that with my khakis that I got on and a belt. And uh, then I'll put on uh, some dress shoes and I'll be ready to go. Mobber did tell me that this place is a freaking mess cause Taika was going all over the place. And she was right. Look at the carpet. That thing's all scorched up over there. He has a random blanket over there. Mobber laid her clothes out. And as soon as I could took a shower, because his shower towel's right there. I love coming home and seeing like a mess. Because it makes me feel so 
uh, CUNY and lived in makes me so happy. I actually don't like it when the house is like, I mean, obviously I like it when the house is like super clean and done up because it's just, you could breathe, right? It feels good. But when it's all like messy, like there's a, uh, there's random shoes that Tyco's will probably throw my shoes down the stairs. When you see stuff like that, it just feels so CUNY. Here's a CUNY family. Now I'm gonna go meet up with mom at the wedding. Just got back home from the wedding and I couldn't really vlog there cause it's someone else's wedding and not everybody wants their life online. But as you can see, this guy partied way too hard. Once again, it was very CUNY pink pants outfit and this guy's out. But let me show you how hot Mobber is. Oh man, I just took off my... It's okay. I just took off my... Ooh, look at that. I just took oh. off my shoes. Look at that. Turn around, mama. Wow. Whoa, look at hot mama. Mama looks hot. Thank you. Trying to keep it classy. You look very classy. Thank you. Okay, time to put this. Time to put this little monkey little dude to sleep. Yes, I'm Asian. I'm supposed to take off my shoes, but all Asians know that there are a few exceptions to the rule. One of them is when your hands are tied and you can't untie your shoes. The other one, when you leave something in the house for a split second, it's okay to just run inside and tiptoe and grab something and go out. But we got this little monkey dude to sleep. My bear's getting everything ready. Got the noisemaker on. She rolled down the blackout curtains. Are you gonna use those PJs? They're pretty they're pretty clean, right? Yeah, they're super clean. Yeah, we'll use those ones. You wanna take them from me? Is your own dying that way? No. So I can take them. If I let go of my hand he's gonna slide off me. So tired. Okay. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching me learn how to ride a motorcycle. Um, I got day two tomorrow. I may or may not be able to vlog that. So we'll see. But uh, the instructors at Harley Davidson and Glenda are really dope. So if you guys are in the LA area and you want to learn how to ride a motorcycle, I highly recommend that place. They were so supportive. And they really feel like they got your back and they want you to do well. Because every time I nailed the technique, they'd be like, yeah, yeah, textbook, textbook. Um, ask for uh, Rich and Andrew. They, they didn't feel like the instructors that are like, you know, some instructors do something like, hmm. Like they can't wait for you to make a mistake. No, these guys really wanted you to do well so they can pass you. I, I really like that. But good night, y'all.